Hi Guy, welcome back to the MZ Mechanic channel. Today we're diving into the wild world of clueless and dangerous drivers. Buckle up as we unravel the chaos on the road. Let's get started. On July 28th, a light dump truck towing a wheel loader made it shake side to side like it was dancing. The dangerous situation led the police to summon the driver to the traffic division for legal action. This car got hit by a rather large branch falling onto its roof, leaving the owner as stunned as if they'd just won the lottery. All right, folks, place your bets. In this crash situation, who do you think is going to be crowned the king of responsibility? I'm wondering if this white car could have zoomed over the sinkhole if it were going a lot faster. The big truck suddenly came to a halt and its head just fell off. Truck sorry, I took an unscheduled nap. That yellow truck got a little too cozy with the edge of the road leading it to topple over into the ditch and roll around a few times. It's like it decided to take a wild detour. The truck crashing into the high concrete barrier in the median spooked the truck on the opposite side causing it to lose control. It's like a chain reaction of frightful surprises. The owner of the truck, after nearly flattening that poor car, took off immediately without a second thought. Guess they decided it was time for a quick getaway. The car got rear-ended right at the gas tank, which immediately sparked a fire. Luckily, everyone managed to escape in time, so no one was hurt. It's a close call that turned into a reminder of how quickly things can go from bad to worse. When these two cars refused to play nice and share the road, it led to some seriously nasty consequences. The man, who was being checked for drunk driving, tried to flee but lost control and backed into a store behind him. He was held responsible for the accident after his frantic escape. The police then took him to the hospital for a blood test, revealing an ethanol concentration of 89.84 mg 100 ml. Consequently, his driver's license was revoked as per the relevant laws and regulations, and he won't be able to get it back for five years. On top of that, he faces criminal charges and will have to cover the costs for vehicle repairs, electrical equipment, fire hoses and damages to the store and surrounding areas. The car changed lanes across two solid lines, and the truck tried its best to dodge the situation, but in the end, it just couldn't escape the inevitable. In Sukian, Jiangsu on July 24th, 2024. Clearly, a nap behind the wheel wasn't on the agenda, but he took it anyway. On July 29th in Yanjiang, Guangdong Province, the car performed a dramatic 360 deck spin. It skidded at high speed in the rain. On July 29th in Aba, Sichuan, a rock fell on the car, causing it to stop and inspect the damage. But the best move? Get through that dangerous spot quickly before any more surprises come rolling in. Why didn't the person directing this truck bother looking behind them? It's like having eyes in the back of your head that are permanently turned off might as well not have them at all. Before the drill even had a chance to lower its bit, it was already having balance issues. It's like trying to juggle while riding a unicycle things went wobbly right from the start.
This big truck got a bit too ambitious trying to haul three bulky trucks at once. It's like trying to carry a stack of pancakes that's way too tall, definitely a recipe for trouble. Before handing over the new car to its owner, it might have picked up a few scratches. It's a small issue now, but it could turn into a big problem for the owner if they haven't seen it yet. It's like getting a surprise on your new car, except it's not the kind of surprise you want. The turning radius of that black car was so tiny that both the front and rear managed to high-five each other on the way around. This truck driver decided to catch some Z's while behind the wheel? Guess he thought the truck could drive itself. A tire came falling from the sky and the black car didn't stand a chance its front end was left looking like it lost a fight with a giant rubber boulder. In Shanghai, a truck had a rough day colliding and bending the overhead sign framework while trying to merge onto the elevated highway. Alright folks, time to play detective. In this case, which car, white or black, do you think will be taking home the responsibility trophy? In this chain reaction crash, it looks like the black car at the front is the least damaged kind of like being the first in line for a free car wash, but with a lot more drama. The right rear tire of this truck had a dramatic blowout, sending the driver into a loss of control and causing the truck to tumble over like it was auditioning for a circus act. Wow, this collision with heavy equipment is one of the least damaging hits this Audi has taken. It's like the car's version of a thank goodness it wasn't worst moment. When driving a truck through turns like these, it's best to slow down to a crawl. You don't want to find out the hard way that turns aren't the truck's favorite thing. On December 6th, a dramatic accident occurred on Street 108 in Maiming Town, Zitong County, Mianyang City, Sichuan Province. A large truck, hauling a wind turbine, rear-ended the truck in front of it. The blades of the wind turbine pierced right into the cab of the truck it hit. In this case, it seems both parties have a share in the responsibility. The black car failed to observe properly while turning, and the truck didn't slow down when passing through the intersection. The truck loaded with rice toppled over because it couldn't handle the inertia while taking that sharp turn. Looks like it got a bit too enthusiastic about its cornering skills. Who would have thought that the water level perfectly matched the height of that concrete curb, causing the truck to crash right into it for no good reason? Did you get a shock like I did? Or was your reaction more like a casual meh moment? The fruit-laden truck overturned in the tunnel, scattering fruit everywhere. Now the vehicles behind are in for a slippery surprise talk about a fruity hazard zone. Watching this forklift pull the truck's cabin out is like peeling the shell off a giant shrimp. It's quite a sight to see the truck's cabin come off with such precision and ease. The truck took a nose dive straight into the river, all because the driver was exhausted and falling asleep at the wheel. Talk about a nap gone terribly wrong. It looks like the truck driver might be a bit inexperienced at gauging the right side as the truck ended up scraping the wall and knocking it down a corner. Seems like a case of oops, I misjudged that space.
On July 8th in Taiwan, an oil tanker tipped over into a ditch. Rescue crews sprayed water over the entire tank to cool things down, successfully securing the tank and separating it from the truck's front end. They then lifted the cab and cleaned up the road, a well-orchestrated operation to handle a sticky situation. A collision happened between a car and a big truck. How did they bump into each other? Did the collision between these two cars have anything to do with the truck with a crumpled cab being towed behind them? This unlucky white car got sandwiched between two trucks, front and back. Talk about being stuck between a rock and a hard place. When this black car was turning around, it shouldn't have been so stubborn and obstructive. This truck tipped over to one side after driving into that deep ditch on the right. It's like the truck decided to practice its leaning skills. This truck decided to play chicken with a concrete pillar and lost at full speed. From a distance, this flood water looks as harmless as a puddle, but don't let it fool you. That sneaky stream is just waiting for the right moment to show off its secret talent, sweeping away trucks like they're rubber duckies in a bathtub. This truck got ambushed by a surprise mudslide, wrapping around its wheels like a sneaky bandit with a dirty sense of humor. Getting into the truck the wrong way could end up turning its frame into a pretzel. It's like trying to park a square peg in a round hole things will definitely get bent out of shape. We're going to need to break out the metal straightener for that truck, which got twisted out of shape by the excavator. It's like giving the truck a serious orthodontic adjustment. Looks like today's truck driver will be working for free, having to pay for a whole sack of spilled beans on the road. It's going to be a messy day at the office. If you're parking with a generator, keep an eye on those fuel lines no one wants a surprise leak. And for those using gasoline generators, watch out for overheating, it's like your generator's way of saying, I'm too hot to handle. The truck got itself hopelessly stuck at the construction site, but if you're going to have bad luck, you might as well have it with a silver lining. Luckily, the site was crawling with excavators just waiting for a chance to show off their rescue skills. It's as if the universe conspired to provide the perfect fleet of heavy machinery to save the day talk about turning a bad day into an unexpected rescue party. The truck found itself in a bit of a pickle, stuck while attempting to conquer a small incline and merge into the lane. To tackle this sticky situation, they had to enlist a wheel loader to hold the truck steady and prevent it from tipping over. Meanwhile, an excavator was brought in to scoop out the rocks from the truck's bed, lightening the load and making it more manageable. It's like the truck's personal pit crew showed up for a rescue mission talk about a heavy-duty intervention with a side of construction comedy.
It looks like the showdown between these two big rigs is pretty much a tie when it comes to power. It seems like they're evenly matched in a battle of the giants. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you don't forget to like. And if you subscribe to my channel, we will definitely appreciate it. See you next time.